Hello, welcome to Zatu Games. Burger Academy is the type of game that I would normally look at and pour scorn upon because I am a proper gamer. However, I took a risk on this one. Let's go and see what I thought about it in my review. Burger Academy comes with some really, really nice components, including these little uh, pre-punched and pre-assembled spinners, uh, which go from uh, 1 to 15. And actually, what we didn't, I didn't even know it this first time, but they're all got different colours, so you can assign your favourite player, player colours uh, by choosing the colour of the numbers. Um, and you get six of those, one for each player. Points are these little fries. Again, these were pre-punched, and they come in with this little pack it and you just slide them in and then you, when someone gets a point you, they take it out of there and they put it in front of them and this is just really neat and keeping with the theme um i was quite 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 taken with that uh the plates are um probably the worst component quality wise just card and uh yeah they're okay and then we have the burger parts themselves now, these are only printed on one side, and I will say that is a little disappointing given that in the game you will be flipping pieces. So you might end up um, with pieces that don't show what they are, uh, and visually that is a little bit disappointing, especially if you end up with a burger with the uh, bread on top that doesn't have the seeds in. Um, you do have uh, onions, which are only used in the hardest difficulty, so I've put them to one side. Lettuce, burger, um, bun, cheese, and tomato. Uh, to start the game, you'll lay out three random piles and then four plates, and then you'll take the cards and you will choose one of the difficulty levels. Now, it's really easy to tell the difficulties because they have uh, the amount of red burger bits highlighted and they tell you which parts take out. So uh, every difficulty, apart from the top difficulty, has onions taken out and the easiest difficulty also removes lettuce. So if you're playing with um, younger children, this easy difficulty might be uh, the best one to go for. Um, we did, uh, we've done this difficulty and upwards and it's, uh, it, it, yeah, it can be quite difficult at times given the rest of the mechanics. Now, what you could also do, because the rules say it's first to 10, but you only get 10 cards in a difficulty uh, level. So, generally you're not going to get 10 before the deck runs out so you can either just play through the deck or shuffle them up again to uh, get going we'll for the for the ease of examples we'll use the two difficulty deck here and these cards all go off to one side so the cards are actually really nice quality and they're only ever going to be shuffled as a deck of 10 unless you decide to mix in difficulties which you could easily do um you could do uh, with all the no onion ones, for example, or you could just put the onions in and just use them all and accept that it's gonna maybe mess up the maths. Um, so how does the game work? Well, first of all, you're gonna turn over the t next difficulty card, which the uh, task card will, will give you an order. So we need a bread bun, a tomato, lettuce, burger, and then the top of the bread bun. And each player is gonna take their disc and select how many moves they think they can do that in. Um, so you'll be looking at the side of the pile there. Uh, you can see the side of that one there. Um, and this one here. So what, um, you will say I can do that in six moves, then you'll put it face down. Reveal them all, the person who's done the lowest will be the person who attempts the challenge. If there's a draw, the person who played their uh, dial first will be the person who attempts the challenge. If the person does it in that many moves or less, they get to take a fry. If they fail, everyone else takes a fry. Well, how does this work? Um, well, a move is to take one or more pieces from the top of a pile and move them to another stack. Uh, there can only ever be four stacks, including these. So I could go uh, one, for example, that would be one move. For a move, you can also take the uh, ingredients that are on a pile and flip them over. So that would be a move. And lastly, you could combine those. So I could take any of the number of ingredients on the top of the pile, 
flip them over and move them. So to do this one, I am going to say I can do it in four moves. I think it's four, we'll see. So for my first move, I'm gonna flip this to here. No, so, oh, no, I'm gonna move it, one. So I'm going to three moves, okay. Then I'm gonna go two. Then I'm gonna go three. And then I'm gonna go four. And there we have it, a perfect burger um, matching that. Now, because I've done it in four moves, what I said, I would get a fry, and then we simply turn the next card. That's how to play Burger Academy. So I was actually very pleasantly surprised with a Burger Academy. I was expecting some kind of real-time speed game, but actually what you get is kind of a um, spatial awareness kind of puzzle, and there is an element of speed in that, but only if you tie. And when I've played it, I find you very quickly um, adjust your kind of expectations of how many moves it's going to take depending on the difficulty level. So you might realise that at difficulty level two, generally it's going to be around the three to six, seven mark, whereas as the levels get higher, that lower end will get a bit higher. Um, but the moves you can make are quite generous because it's only one move to move and twist, uh, move and flip. That gives you a lot of different options. And uh, the other thing is you're punished if you get it wrong. So you're not quite trying to go as fast as possible. And some people, this game will be an absolute nightmare for, um, even though they still enjoy it. And those sorts of people are my wife. I'm not saying I'm married to lots of people there. Um, but my wife's the type of person who will look at this, she'll look at the card and she'll work, try and work out exactly how many moves it's going to take her. And by the time she's done that, myself and my son have both put our, uh, both put our dials down, gambling that we can do it in four or three moves. Uh, but that is a risk because for my wife, she might end up with points anyway because if one of us gets it wrong. Um, it did cause some frustration in my son initially as he struggled with the idea of you can flip them over. And I did a little bit as well. I kept forgetting you could flip them over. But the rule that caught us out the most was that you can only have four stacks. Um, and that's easier once you've got all the bits on the plate. But that doesn't always happen because you're only going to 10 points. So sometimes you've still got the initial stacks that you kind of haven't manipulated fully. Um, so those were the rules we kind of stumbled over. Having, having, having said all that, the, the game is just a lot of fun. It is, it is what it is. Um, I really like these kind of puzzles where you're having to uh, put something in order. And I like the fact that um, this one's so tactile. It, in terms of components, the only real complaints I ha had are kind of minor cosmetic ones like the um, burger ingredients aren't printed on both sides, which if you weren't flipping wouldn't be so bad, but it does create a visual um, you know, uh, dis dissonance or whatever, uh, slightly. Um, if they hadn't been printed on either side, that would have almost been better because you wouldn't have known. But it's just a really tiny little thing. Um, other than that, it, it's just an easy game to play. You've got six, uh, up to six players. The fries, I just love that idea, that uh, idea of, uh, of, of just going into the theme that little bit more. Um, and yeah, they're, they're not the greatest quality, but they came pre-punched in a little pack. I just loaded them into that fry packet. And who doesn't smile when you're just past the kind of cardboard fry in its, in its packet? Uh, it's just a lovely little production, uh, which in turn plays really well. Uh, and I think a lot of people are gonna have a lot of fun with this and possibly surprise themselves. Uh, so that's my opinion on uh, Burger Academy, uh, going over the Zatu things, if I can remember them. The components are great, You'd probably give them a three or a four out of the five. Uh, replayability, well, yeah, it's there, you've got, you've got all, is it five or six difficulty levels? You can add in and take out the onions once you've played a bit. You can um, mix up the difficulty levels for more a challenge. Um, you could even, um, because they have... Um, because the middle difficulties all remove an onion, uh, the onions, you could play adults with a harder deck and 
children with a slightly easier deck. So you turn over two cards, one from each deck, but the children are betting on that one and you're betting on that one, uh, just to kind of balance it out. Um, or you could add one to every adult's move or something like that. There's a ways you could, you could balance it out. Um, replayability components, uh, artwork, I mean, it's all burgers, it's fine. Um, value for money, I think, is excellent. And I'm saying that because I can't remember. Oh, interaction. Uh, the interaction is more in terms of the dials. You know, you get used to where someone's comfort level might be. So then the, the real-time element really comes in then if you're, if you're going head-to-head -head with someone. But it doesn't happen that often. Um, and it's kind of quite a fun one. You're like... Well, I think they're going to go for five, so shall I sneak in with a four? Even though I'm not sure it's entirely possible yet, uh, you know, like it might be a push. So, yeah, I'm just, just happy with this. Happy with it. Happy to have it in my collection. Uh, the box size is annoying, but it can just go on that way around. Done. Uh, so, yeah, that's my thoughts on Burger Academy. So there we have it. Thank you again for watching Zatu Games. If you liked what you saw, hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell, and you will be notified of all our future video releases. We also are live on Twitch and Facebook. Facebook is a regular Wednesday show and a Twitch schedule is coming soon. Do remember to check us out on Twitter and Instagram as well and stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye now.